Tell us can, if you can say what what are what are a level or two or, or a thing or two that got cut from Modern Warfare. Oh my one. god, dude! Was, I have had more failures than I've had successes. <laughs> Never seen the light of day. I, I can't begin <laughs> to count the number of things that have been cut. Seriously, I have like four missions cut from uh, COD Two. I had another like four from the first Modern Warfare. I had like ton from like Modern Warfare Two. So, there was this. Uh, bunker buster mission in the first modern warfare where basically a bunker buster hits like a bunker and like just b basically buries a hole through the center of it and you're basically going around like through the bunker like seeing into different layers along the way it just sucked <laughs> yeah. it was boring bottom line it was boring you know it sounded like a cool idea on paper i worked on it for like a good four months and we cut it and it was terrible <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also <laughs> Modern Warfare 2, my level didn't get cut, but I got cut off of a level because I was just screwing it up so bad. So, uh -oh. Which one was that? So, so that's another thing that I learned. Casting. Casting the right developer for the right job, right? And again, you are not your work, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, that, like, so um, the first mission in Modern Warfare 2 where you're ice climbing. Yeah, yeah. I was and on then, that yeah, and then you go and like... A, a, a snowstorm hits and you're like shooting people with the heartbeat sensor then you get caught and you fight your way out and you like snowmobile out so that was my level and i was working on that and i was just doing a terrible job because i had a certain like style and it just wasn't fitting that mission it just okay it just wasn't right it was i was basically i was making it too slow i was not giving you enough freedom to like play it like the way you wanted to and i got pulled off of it after about like three months right and that was a turning point for me where I like that could have broken me. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but like, but I, I remember, yeah, but I remember Steve Fukuda was very much like, listen, dude, he was like, you're, you're a good designer. You are not your level, right? The level you're making right now sucks. That doesn't mean you suck. <laughs> and I got pulled off of that and they gave it to, uh, I want to say Mackie and Z. And clearly what ended up shipping was immaculate <laughs> right <laughs> yeah but yeah like lo lots lots of different things like that <laughs> I'll, I'll give you one uh, fun memory of of that level too so so i am some of the voice voices in i am some of soap's voice in that level wait what uh, like in yeah. the final product in the final product yeah you're kidding they forgot <laughs> to like <laughs> not dialogue but a lot of most all of the open oh level, the excerpts like, Grunting, yeah, yeah the experts, all the the death, the the Wilhelm, like if if you fall or die. I That's remember awesome. uh, I was work I was with uh, Stephen Miller and Chrissy on that one, and they just put out a call like, "Hey, who wants to do some fucking?" I'm like, "All right, I'll do it." So they had me get on because we had a gym in the office at the time. They had me get on the treadmill. They're like, "Full sprint." For five minutes, um, and then and then run into the, the thing because we want you to feel like you're out of breath as you're like climbing up the thing. So yeah, I went on the oh, treadmill. Oh, just, oh, and they I made you work. Like, work. I'm like, oh, it's like, I, can't, I, can't. It's like, I was fuck. I was fully out of breath, and they're like, okay, do it. <clears throat> so, like all of those grunts is, are me, and then if you fall down to your death, yeah, that's me too. <laughs> It's hilarious because I bet you anything when they went into the studio with a real actor, he was just sipping tea. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> they made you work for it. Oh, uh, yeah. It was awesome. Oh, dude. Was, I, okay. You want to hear a crazy cut story? I got okay. Here's this one uh, Titanfall 3. <laughs> you know, Titanfall 2 was, you know, came out, did what it did, and we were like, okay, well, we're going to make Titanfall 3. And we worked on Titanfall 3 for about 10 months, right? In earnest, right? I mean, we had, like, new tech for it. We had multiple missions going. We had a first playable, which was, like, on par to be just as good, if not better, than um, than whatever we had before, right? But I'll make this clear. Incrementally better. It wasn't revolutionary. And that's the key okay. thing, right? Um, and we were like feeling pretty decent about it, but not the same feeling as Titanfall Two. We were we were making something revolutionary, you know what I mean? Uh, and then the multiplayer team was having a hell of a time trying to uh fix the multiplayer, 
Because a lot of people love the multiplayer. People love Titanfall 2 multiplayer. But the people who yeah. love Titanfall 2 multiplayer is a very small number of people. And most people play Titanfall 2 multiplayer and think it's really good, but it's just too much. It's cranked up to 11, and they burn out of it fast. And they're like, that was a great multiplayer. That's not something I continually play for like a year, two years, three years. Right? Yeah, yeah. So we were like trying to fix that. We tried to fix that from Titanfall 1 to 2, tried to fix it from Titanfall 2 to 3. The multiplayer team was like just dying. And then PUBG came out. <laughs> and I don't know if you remember Alex Roycewitz, but Alex Roycewitz started playing oh, yeah. PUBG. And then Geoff started playing PUBG. And then they made of a course. battle royale map with, you know, <laughs> Titanfall uh, 3 classes. It showed up one day. <laughs> And then literally, yeah. like, I don't, I know, I'm sure you remember, we used to have, like, Friday Night Fights to test, like, the Hell multiplayer. Yeah. So Friday Night Fights had, like, dwindled down to, like, you know, 10 people, just the bare minimum, who, like, to get, like, a match going to test things out. Just basically the designers and a couple artists, right? Okay. And then that came out, and then the next Friday Night Fights was all 100 people. And they <laughs> stayed until, like, 9 p.m. playing it, right? And you it was... You got something on your hands. <laughs> yeah, and it, and it, and it was... It was that way for like two months. Like it, it, I think it started in like October, November, and it was all the way. It was like that until we went out for break, and in the middle of that, we were still testing the other modes: regular attrition and Titanfall modes. And again, ten people would play those. Hundred people would play the BR mode. Right. All right. <laughs> and uh, at the time, I was uh, I I had just literally become like narrative lead designer on on Titanfall three. I had just pitched like the mission that like me and Manny had like that mission that the the story of the whole game that me and Manny had come up with me this big presentation and then we went off a break and then we came back from break and we talked about it and we're like yeah we need to pivot and we need to go make oh, this game <laughs> so we literally canceled Titanfall three ourselves because we were like we can make this game and it's going to be a little it's going to be Titanfall two plus a little bit better. Or we can make this thing, which is clearly amazing. <laughs> and don't get me yeah. wrong, I will always miss having another Titanfall. You know what I mean? I like I love that game. Titanfall 2, like I said, is my most it's my most crowning achievement. But it was the right call. That is that is a crazy cut. Such a crazy cut that EA didn't even know about it for another six months until we had a prototype up and running that we could show them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that th they're fucking skunk works, man. Like, like, yeah, Jason events were they they would they would shield the team and and yeah, that was uh, it was crazy. It, are, <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, um, that had to hurt though. Like you personally, like you 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 just come up with the story of the game and like you you become in love with it you become attached to it and and again like you said the, the love you are not your level but like that's a little different you, like so here's the funny <laughs> thing on titanfall one they said cut single player and i almost quit and i picked team over project and i stayed and i remember that was a dark time then we made t finish Titanfall one finish Titanfall two when we did that and they were like all right we know your narrative design lead and we know you've always wanted to do this but it's cut i was like just promoted you to it all right, let's go. <laughs> right. Literally, it was that fast. I was like, okay. that's fine. You know what I mean? We've always cut stuff in the past. I know this team's going to make something awesome. Let's let's run with it. I'll, f I'll figure out a place where I can, like, make my magic. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, I think that's I'm just... between somebody with, like, nine years of experience and somebody with 15 years of experience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's helpful to have that perspective for sure. I can imagine, like... Yeah, I'm just picturing like EA's response when you tell them like <laughs> that you're not doing the game. I wish I could have been in that room. All I saw was the reactions to it, like from like Drew and Vince, and they were not good. <laughs> like, like they had to take the brunt of it. They were. Like, I can only imagine. They were like, "Yeah, you have this game that sold X million copies. You went from making the third one a you know a uh, a sixty dollar box product, which by the way." we bought your company for like they bought respawn in the middle of this <laughs> they were like we bought it so you would make so we'd have the ip to titanfall and you'd make a titanfall 3 and then you come back and tell us you're gonna make a free-to-play non-titanfall game what the fuck <laughs> they were like they didn't know what to do <laughs> i'll bet i'll bet Man, I know. that's crazy um, but it worked out like it, it worked Impact obviously it worked out, and right? a huge hit and and uh, a massive game Wow, that's crazy.